I don't usually start the videos uh, this early. By the way, this is John Green. This is Hank Games Without Hank. But I just want to point out the height difference between the golden child and a normal person. <laughs> um, the golden child, does he not look six years old? Like, look at his face right now. Can you not see him as, like, a first grader who has been given an AFC Wimbledon kit and some very nice shoes and told that he can go play professional football versus the Middlesbrough player who looks comparatively like a giant like he has a beard. I mean, the golden child clearly has not hit puberty. Anyway, today we're taking on Middles bro. Middles bro. I mean, how? Where? There's definitely that. That word is definitely missing an an O. You know, there's definitely there's a needed O in that word. Middles bra. Like, what is it? What is it that that young people? By the way, it's Question Tuesday, the day that I answer real questions from real nerd fighters. But um. What is it that Meredith that um that, that that young men call each other these days that's like a synonym for uh you know, a certain kind of like fraternityness or something? You know what I mean? Do you know what I'm referring to? But isn't it not just bro, isn't it like more than bro? Isn't it like uh like it doesn't it have an accent to it? Like it's spelled like B R U H or whatever? Oh my god, it's raining in England. That is astonishing. Um You've never heard that? Like the, like, bra or bra? I don't even know how to say it right. Okay. Meredith says she's not hip, but that's a lie. She's the hippest person I know. Um, admittedly, <laughs> I set a very low bar by trying never to be acquainted with particularly hip people. Meredith, what's, what's my first question today as we, as we look into the cold, dead eyes of the middle bra zombies? My favorite thing Project for Awesome has done. Can I go back to answering that question about my favorite art piece? I'll answer that. But I, I just want to – I'm very interested in – I love contemporary art so much, and I feel like, and we try to talk about it a lot through the art assignment, but I just feel like we end up not talking about it as much as I want to. Um, one of my favorite contemporary artists is Alfredo Jar, who uh, I saw some of his work recently in Chicago. He's just so good. Like, the way he thinks about what images can and cannot show is really interesting to me. Like, by the way, we're in fifth stunning turn of events. Um, there's things that images can't do well. Uh, that because we've become kind of, we, w our lives are so super saturated with images that we've become sort of immune to certain kinds of images, particularly images I think of gore or of, of death um, or of suffering, where, uh, you know, they feel almost fictional to us. You know, they feel distant from us. And um, Alfredo's work just does a great job of finding ways to, uh, to, to shock us anew or to, like, get us... Uh, you know, get us to feel like like um, the 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 immensity of, of of tragedy or or the reality of suffering or the the true like the existence of the other. This is something I've been thinking a lot too about in the context of like public health. Um, Particular. Oh God, Amanqua. Thank you. Why does he always wear long pants and long sleeves? No one knows for sure. There's many theories, but but no, none of us. Oh, yes, nice pass. Nice. Nice. Oh, I love the triple cutback. Humiliate him. Yes. No. Dang it. I love to see my enemies made, made less human in, before me. Is that weird? Does that make me a bad person? Maybe. Oh, oh, golden. Duh, for the love of God. You should be kicking yourself. Oh, that's very frustrating. That's, I mean, there were 16 people there who should have scored a goal. Oh, boy, I'm angry. Not, not a happy camper right now. So, um, anyway, uh, I also really like the work of um, artists uh, like Tara Donovan. Um, uh, I don't know. There's just so many good contemporary artists and so much good stuff to think about in the world of contemporary art and also beautiful, interesting things to look at. And that's something, I don't know. It's a different language, I guess. It's a different way of looking at the world, but I find it very useful. And uh, I never really knew anything about it because it is such a sort of world unto itself until I started dating Sarah. And I still don't know that much about it, but I am like a very enthusiastic amateur fan of these things. Oh, it was a little golden child that got, it, got that cross a little bit wrong. But, you know, what I love about other John Green is he never gives up on the ball even when it's clearly not going to happen for him. He still was like, ah, I'll try. What's my next question, man? All oh, right, what is the coolest thing the Project for Awesome has ever done? I mean, I'm really proud of the fundraiser we just did with Water.org through the Foundation to Decrease World Suck because um, usually in the Project for Awesome, we, um, 
you know, we give out perks like uh, you donate forty dollars and you get X. If you donate two hundred dollars, I'll record my name, my your answering machine message or whatever. Um, <laughs> people have answering machines. No one has an answering machine. Your voicemail message. Um, but um, the, I mean, I guess the kind of the different thing about the Water.org fundraiser is that there was none of that, right? Like there was nothing to be gained from contributing um, perk-wise. People were just contributing because they, f they felt like, you know, it was a compelling, it was something that was worth doing. It was good work. And, uh, you know, hopefully I'd made the argument well that, that, you know, water was the thing that people kept coming back to when I would talk to them about what they, what they kind of needed next for health and, um, and security and everything else. Oh, wow. Wow, Rocker really needed to rock that, and instead he hit it. I mean, he could not have hit it more softly. That was one of the softest hits I've ever seen. Um, that is frustrating. I, I think we're all a little annoyed right now. But, you know, so it goes. Oh, and then the Golden Child gives up the ball way too easily. And then unnecessary slide tackle trying to win it back. That's not, that's not what I like to see from my six-year-old players. I will, I will credit him for getting back. Look at him working hard to get back. Yeah, that's good stuff. Um, so, yeah, I was really proud of that. But, I mean, I think the Project for Awesome has done lots of cool stuff over the years. And, um, I mean, also, I think we've supported some charities that maybe we shouldn't have. I think we've had some failures as well as successes. But, um, but yeah, I'm really proud of – I'm really proud overall. And there was the year that, like, kind of YouTube ran it and we didn't raise much money. And, I, you know, we've definitely, we've definitely had a lot of missteps over the years. But um, you know, that's part of growing – with Nerdfighteria, I think, is like, you know, learning learning from when we screw up. Uh, and we screw up all the time. Anyway, uh, yeah. Meredith, what's the next question? My favorite soup of all time? That's like asking me my favorite artwork. There's too many. There's so many lovely soups out in the world. Um, I, you know, like, I love a good chicken noodle. I don't think there's anything shameful about that. But I also, what's that cold soup? Gaspacho? I enjoy a gaspacho as well. Golly, that was a good cross, but there was no one on the end of it. Ugh. You know, I can't help but feel that Dicko would have scored there. I feel like generally we've been reduced to this run up the sides and then cross it into the box and hope that one of the John Green heads it in thing, which is not, that's not who we are as a club. Like, we're, we're a more diverse club in terms of our talents, and that's a little frustrating to me that we aren't playing like it. Like, that was good. Ugh, but then it, that wasn't good. So it's complicated. And then that was also not good when Ball John Green needlessly dropped to his knees. Um, is that halftime? Oh, boy. I got to answer more questions. Meredith, what's my next question? How do I feel about drones? Complicated, because I think some, sometimes some uses of drones are awesome, but other uses of drones are obviously, like, terrifying. And then there's the, like, further terror of, like, future drones that will be the size of a house fly and, like, fly into locker rooms and videotape people, and that, like, terrifies me. Um... Yeah, but I also think that, you know, drones the size of a house fly could be very useful for, like, looking at tonsils, you know? Just looking at a human tonsil and saying either your tonsil needs to be removed or your tonsil is amazing. I want to, you know, take a picture of it and put it on my wall. Um, so I think, like, I don't know, yeah, I go, I mean, I think that it's all about the way that the technology is used rather than about the technology itself. That's how I feel about technology in general. Come on! Oh, you've got to get better. Oh, you had one shot to quote Eminem. Um, Meredith, do you even get that reference? Or is Eminem no longer fashionable? Is he still an important artist? Is he still considered, a, a, you know, one of the major rappers of his generation? Oh, my God, that's a beautiful ball. That's a beautiful finish. Oh, oh. He's big, he's tough, he has a brilliant puff of the John Green. I, I, I'm singing the wrong song. That's how excited I am. But I think the ball came from other John Green. Whatever. John Green. John Green. It's a new song that I wrote just now. <laughs> oh, that is exciting stuff. We really Look at that. Seven shots we've had. Seven shots. This is, oh. Did I answer the question? I was so excited about the goal. What's my next question? Favorite YouTuber at the moment? Oh, there's so many I like. You know who I really like at the moment? I think um, Lex can roar. Oh, almost the goal of the season. Probably should have taken it down. We need Dicko and Deanie. We can't, we can't let the boys get tired. You know what I mean? Like, we just cannot, we cannot 
risk injuries for our elder statesmen, John Green and John Green. By the way, these guys are at this point, they're in their mid-30s. It's crazy to think about. They're almost as old as I am. And I'm a manager. Like I'm, you know, I have a, a totally different kind of job. All right, Mose Vestergaard, you put in a good shift, and I appreciate it, but you don't get to play anymore. All right, I'm going to make three substitutions all at once, just like the pros do. What was the question? My favorite YouTuber at the moment? Wex Can Roar, I think is good, really good. Um, she's been making videos since, like, 2008, but they've, they've gotten really, really great. Um, and uh, I like Rosiana a lot, and I'm not just saying that because, I, I, because she is an executive at our, at, 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 at our company. I also think that she's great, Rosiana Rojas. YouTube.com slash Rosiana. I think she makes really good videos. Do you ever watch her videos, Meredith? Yeah, they're good, aren't they? Yeah, she's talented. Um, I mean, I don't want her to get too good at it because then she'll stop working for with us. She'll go do her own thing. But, yeah, no. All right, what's next? Do I handwrite first drafts? Meredith, what do you think? You know. How do you know? Yeah, I type them. I don't handwrite anything. Um except my signature over and over and over again. But other than that, yeah, I don't really, I just don't, it doesn't do it for me. I know lots of people who handwrite, including people who learn to type first. But I learned to type before I learned how to write, um, or at least, like, at, the, at about the same time. I learned how to type when I was in second grade. So, um, you know, my relationship with, like, telling stories, like, there is a physical action that's associated with making a story. Um, for most writers, not for all writers, certainly, but for most, there is the physical, well, I guess there's always some kind of physical action, um, even if it's voice recognition technology or using a, a blinker. That was a terrible pass. <laughs> I know you guys are, oh, God, there's a lot of people who are mad at me right now. Um, voice recognition technology. There's always some kind of physical action, even if it's just your eyelid, your, your, your eyes moving to tell the computer what, what to type. Um, and for me, like that physical action has always been moving my hands around a keyboard. And so that's what I do, like, because that's what I know how to do. It's not because I think it's the best or anything like that. Go! Probably should have passed because K St. Luce is not a finisher. But I thought, I, I just, I saw it in my mind. Probably should have passed to Deanie. And Deanie knows it. Deanie's like, give me the ball. Put it at my feet. Oh, man. That was, that was almost beautiful. God, that was almost fantastic. Get it! Oh, we had it. We had it. We had it. We were in the right place. And it was D. Michelis, D. Michaelis, the democratizer. I still, we still don't really, I'm still not that happy with any of the naming options for him. Maybe you guys in comments will know, will know what his name is slash should be. Um, but, yeah, I, I don't know. So, for me, like, typing is, is writing is typing. Like, I, 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 I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I would have to kind of, like, relearn the whole action of how to do it if, if suddenly I, I couldn't type for some reason. Um, which is something that I spend a lot of time very afraid about, like losing my, uh, losing my hands or whatever. Um, but, you know, then again, I spend a lot of time very afraid about e everything. Thanks. I don't know why this video went to such a dark place, Meredith. I blame you. Okay, make it happy again with the last question. Thoughts on guinea pigs? I thought you said that you were going to make it happy. You think they're cute? They are literally rodents. Pigs are far, far cuter. Oh, oh, what, Dini? Dini is just not running hard. Meredith, I don't want to. I don't like to criticize, but Dini and I are gonna have a talk after this game. Thoughts on guinea pigs? My thoughts. I am opposed to them. Do you hear that? Um, lots of people on Tumblr called me a victim blamer after I said that unicorns were responsible for the rise of Voldemort. Um. So I want to be clear. Voldemort is responsible for Voldemort's actions. Um, and I am responsible for making my opponents sniff their pits in shame. Thank you for watching. Best wishes.